The mass exodus and immigration of black people has been debated for centuries. Before signing the Emancipation Proclamation, Lincoln believed it was best for black people to cultivate a settlement in Panama rather than be free in the United States. Later in the early 1900s, Marcus Garvey would organize a movement and a shipping line to transport black people back to Africa, where he hoped they would create an independent colony. Neither of these ideas came to fruition, but the same idea was debated in 1830 and was a catalyst for a meeting of black minds that would forge a national network of political activism. On this day in 1830, the first public Negro National Convention was held in Philadelphia. The body would meet to discuss a host of pressing issues facing black people at the time, including abolition. But the topic that brought the convention together was the possible mass migration of Africans in America to Canada to escape persecution. The idea for the convention first spread among black leaders after disturbing events in Ohio during the, er, the late 1820s. In June of 1829, city officials in Cincinnati issued a notice requiring black residents to ad adhere to laws passed to keep fugitive slaves and free blacks from settling in Ohio. Thousands were forced to leave the city and the laws essentially sanctioned mob violence against black people who were not in compliance. In the face of this threat, hundreds of African Americans requested and were granted asylum in Canada. Afterward, a Boston activist, Hezekiah Grice, pleaded with black leaders across the country to consider a plan to immigrate to Canada. His calls were heard and the topic was debated at the inaugural Negro National Convention. No finite plan of action would spring from the convention as the delegates were split on the idea of leaving. Some believed it was important to stay and fight to improve the conditions for blacks who would remain in the country. <coughs> Even though the body did not come to terms on a unified exit, the convention became its mainstay in black society for the next 30 years until the emancipation era approached. <coughs> So today we remember the first National Negro Convention, and that is for the culture. Thank you for watching Prime, and good night.